All right, fans, so here we go. You know, if you remember last time, we pulled the axle shaft out of this side. I know that's all loose and ready to come out. I just had to put the wheel on to roll it into the garage. Uh, so today I'm going to try to pull this other one off, and hopefully uh, I can show you how I use that puller. My, my son-in-law says just get a slide hammer with a special yoke. But what fun is that? You know, we're going to do it the garage homeowner way, right? I'm hoping the, the bolts come out of that easy. I'm going to get my bucket as usual. Because I'm not kneeling on my bad knees. We're in the garage today because it's rainy. And I'm just going to see if my little hammer drill here has enough guts to get those nuts off. Sure enough, Mr. DeWalt, friend that he is, I'm twisting up my rod. That one's not coming so easy. I do have a breaker bar. I'm just being lazy. I see some signs that my gaskets are leaking in here too. All right, time for the breaker bar. They'll come right out as soon as I crack them. Ah, boom. I'll use the gun when I get these into position. I hear geese out there. I'm a goose hunter, you know. They're honking at me. Mocking me. Aren't they? Okay, we're going to run these four bolts off. Nuts off. Actually, they're T-nuts. There's nuts in the back. Bolts in the back that come through. that get stuck in there every time. And the trick is there's a trick. Oh the nut can right off the back too. Well that stinks. There we go. Gotta see if we can pull this dog out of here. I got an adapter and an adapter and an adapter here. I'm gonna have to hold that teen up from the back. Oops. I'll take it right off and use it to pull the nut out of here. So I said the whole thing's got to come out. Everyone sticks. They're just a little oily, that's why they're not really deformed or anything. and get this axle to come out or we're going to need the puller. Where did my not go? Oh, it didn't come all the way off. Alright, we're still... There he is. We're going to have to put a couple of these back in, maybe. All that stanky oil. All right. There's all four out. Now, if you can see, it's hard to see. 
There's the backing plate right there. And that went on those studs. And there's gaskets in there, which I bought new gaskets for this job. So, always nice to put new fresh gaskets in. Got them from National Parts Depot NPD, which is your source, which I'm obviously not obligated with in any way. So, oh, look at that. That's the way she comes out. The other one was stuck, this one wasn't. All right. So I didn't need to use the puller on this. That bearing feels nice and tight. Now these are not lubricated by the uh, rear end oil because uh, the oil seal is on the inside. I'm dripping a little lube here and it stinks. I'm going to get a can. I've got an oil pan over here. that stinky stuff all over the garage because it stinks awful. And it looks like it popped a spring on the bottom uh, of my brake shoes here. So I'm going to put you on pause and we're going to pull this axle out and I'm going to lay them aside here on some cardboard and we'll take a look at them. Now one thing I need to remember is there is a right and a left side to these. So I'm already greasy anyway. Set her on the ground here. So now oops, what you can see here is of course the the bolt flange with the access hole to take these nuts out and uh, old crappy gasket on here and there's the main bearing and there's a retainer ring now the way to get these off is, is you center punch and you take a small drill and you drill 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 chisel chisel bang bang it comes off and uh, then you can try to drive the bearing off because that collar pressed on with a high pressure is actually what holds this bearing in place and as I said this is a sealed bearing this is not lubed by the by the lube in the in the rear end like some are this is a sealed bearing that's outside the oil seal goes between here and the axle so I'm going to try to pull that other one out we'll get ready to pull that one out and if I need to use the puller I'll show you how so now we're on the driver's side again I gotta just pop these lug nuts. I just put a couple on there so I could roll this around. I like to little, put a little WD-40 on those because it's chrome on chrome and they like the gall. Degall. I'm not a real big fan of these universal lug nuts, but they're the only kind you can find to fit these cars. At least as far as I know, unless you buy like 300 and some dollar wheels, which ain't my budget. Ugh. All right. Now, back to where we were. I just put two of those nuts on to temporarily hold that together. Bolts. 
And I'll start the nuts right back on them. Because we don't want those to get lost either. I got them all the parts from each side put into a brake drum. Now I wanted to show you how I use that puller. Really simple. did was I turned the plate so it was out of the way and I rotated the hole around. I took the uh, center out of here and I put it on the inside of the plate and ran the screw back through. And I didn't want to hit on the on the backing plate for the bearing, so I made sure I hit on the brake backing plate. And then as I tightened it up with a wrench, the bearing just went pop. Oh, that's the wrong size, but it should loose anyway. They're tighter than I thought. Anyway, ratchet on, cranked, boom. See, she, see, she popped, and that's it. Now there are. Um, I just happen to have this puller laying around, steering wheel puller, whatever. It's kind of a universal puller because you can use it as two or three way. And my father-in-law willed it to me years ago. I've been using it ever since. The different projects. Now what you do is a lot of a lot of gears and pulleys have threaded bolts in them. Threaded holes. Now this used to have a little point in there that appears to be missing. But some of them are two hole and some of them are three hole. So this will work on either two or three hole uh, pull, pulleys for that such thing. So, uh -huh. hold on. I'm going to extract this dog out of there. I'm just going to use paper towels to keep the goop off my hands. Oh, come on. There we go. It was just hooked behind it. There you go. That's Spline shaft to go into the differential, which I will be full, totally replacing. Same assembly. Looks like the passenger side is quite a bit longer than the driver's side. By probably four or five inches. Alright. Well, that's it for now on this. We'll get back to it when we go to put it all back together. I'll do a little more on this, but I'm going to pull the whole uh, pumpkin right out of this. i got to jack the car up real high, so maybe I'll save that for another episode here. But uh, that'll be a fun project, too, rebuilding that differential. So hang on for now. God bless. Stay safe.